So here we are, it's uh, 420, it's Thursday morning. Um, we ran all the tests, we did CT scan, we did ultrasound, we did blood work, we did urine test, we did, um, let's see, uh, x-ray on my son, everything. Everything's coming back normal. So they think it was probably a blockage near the appendix so I don't think it's actually considered appendicitis, so they are going to release him today. I know he's thrilled because he gets to go with his girlfriend because today is her birthday. There you go. Yeah, there's that smile. He's starving. You know, this is the crash zone here that we've been hammered down to for two days. Lots of rain last night, so I'm I'm happy. Uh, we're actually going to take him to a healer next that we go to just for a check. So we are oozing out here in the hallway now. Everybody's just getting up and around. Sun's just starting to come up. I brought a bunch of bread for the staff. They're all crashed out. They had a nights here, night shifts rough. So yeah. Oh. So yeah, I'm a walking, I'm a walking, I'm a talking. So uh, yeah, that's great news. Thank God he keep your fingers crossed. You know, because I don't want to jinx myself. I'm very superstitious. But uh, he, so far he doesn't have to have a, a surgery. We actually had talked to our healer before we came here, and he said, do not do the surgery. He said, we can actually heal him on, on his own, which, you know, I don't like surgeries. Like my father always used to say, anytime you go under the knife, you know, it'll, it could be something that lasts, you know, forever in a bad way. Going under the knife is the last resort. <clears throat> I remember he had a back surgery back in 1970, 76. So, and man, it was open back, you know, full back surgery. And it took him six months to get over the initial, but I don't think he ever really got over it. Um, few things about Selman Medical Center. Uh, totally satisfied with uh, the care here. Uh, it's top rated uh, facility here. They do all the tests here. You know, uh, doctor did make it around yesterday. Like I say, the way the doctors do here is they generally maybe have an office in the hospital somewhere, but they make rounds at other hospitals in the mornings. And then they will take off and go do appointments in the afternoon. Our doctor actually had to go to another hospital and be called on. So, you know, but it was like 22 hours. I was already starting, I was tired. You know, my son, he was tired, hungry. So we actually, uh, good morning, my own time. Uh, so we actually did, um, uh, I went home, crashed, got a shower. Got about six hours sleep, got up, went through my blogs, comments with everyone, you know, asking thanks for all the support, thanks for all the prayers. You know, obviously it worked. You know, getting right with Jesus. It's the only way, getting right with Jesus. <clears throat> so thanks again, every everybody, for that support. Uh, he's already pumped up about his girlfriend's birthday and he said he's not in any pain right now. I think it was due to, um, <clears throat> he actually had some constipation here, which we, I go to a um, acupuncturist. I'll actually, I think I've already mentioned that. You'll find that I do re-mention things several times. It's a classic gift of getting older. You know what I mean? Anybody knows, you know, so. Anyway, the the getting older or whatever, I tend sometimes to forget or repeat myself. But um, the acupuncturist actually 
worked on him about four months ago because of his constipation and he has not had any issues or problems since. So I talked to my daughter who is a um, <clears throat> Grey's Anatomy expert. You know, she's watched every episode twice. So anytime I mention anything about medicine or illnesses or whatever, she can delve in and tell me what's really going on. She told me last night, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, you know, or her, she's wrong or whatever. But she told me that uh, appendicitis usually comes from some form of maybe like blockage or infection in your appendix and then it can become inflamed because it can't, I guess, pass and uh, then that's when it leads to appendicitis and having to have your uh, appendix removed. So uh, I guess maybe that was what was due. He is, <clears throat> he is actually un, un, um, uh, constipated now. So he's, his bowel movements back to normal. Don't like to get too deep in there. <laughs> Don't want to do an overshare. So uh, way too much information. But yeah, it uh, looks like we're gonna release him here in a couple hours. Uh, we're gonna take him to uh, our healer down near Amlon, and he's gonna do a full workover. In fact, I may do a short video, actually, because I would like everybody to know about the healers here. They are very good, very powerful. Some are more powerful than others. I have several, several experiences here with uh, healers. I will actually go in and um, do some of the stories. So um, I absolutely believe, absolutely believe in the healers here. So uh, we'll do that and hopefully the rest of the day will be normal. And one thing I can promise you about the Philippines for anybody who wants to come here is expect the unexpected. You know, it will guaranteed it will happen over and over and over and over. I don't know how many plans we made to go somewhere and do something and it gets turned upside down, you know, and the plans are shot or canned. So we have to, you know, replan all over again. So, but uh, I want to give a shout out here, like I say, to all the staff at Silliman, the nursing staff who worked so hard here the the lab technicians you know like i say they they will they're very attentive i'm mo more impressed with you know the medical field and the attention you get here you know if i fall and i can't get up like the old commercial i'm falling and i can't get up i would want to fall here um if the if it's uh a really uh, dominguez has a super good medical circle here if you get into really um, hardcore, like heart attacks and you know stuff like that, you actually they will fly you over to Cebu, uh, even to Manila. You know, uh, I'm not sure because I've never had as far as the cost of what it would be. You know, because most foreigners here pay out of pocket. <clears throat> kind of give you a rundown of what we spent so far. It was ten dollars. For the emergency room visit then you pay your uh, lab work uh, with the x-ray the ct scan the ultrasound the room for two nights uh, with a meal for the person who is staying <clears throat> uh, came out to around uh, five six hundred dollars i think so um uh, excuse me for my voice too we did a good bit of singing you know trying to put together some videos and some practices and stuff like i said yesterday i just had to get out of here i'm the type of person to where you know when it gets to be just overwhelming it's time for me just to go try and you know relax so i went home and spent time with my other two kids last night and uh Looks like uh, everything's going good, and I will conclude this video, and I will do a follow-up. So this is part two of part one. So if you need, like I say, medical attention, Selman Medical Facility here is great. So you guys have a <clears throat> have a great day. My ayo ad lao to all my Filipino friends out there. 
Thank you for all your support. Thank you for all your subscribing. I uh, hope you enjoyed the channel, the music. Like and subscribe and tell all your friends. Uh, thank you very much. Salamat kayo.